Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa on January 21st. And as you know, we have emphasized at different times the importance of positive, active global citizens. Four words in our mission that mean a great deal to us. And I have with me today a student who is a positive, active global citizen who has won an award that um, is making all of us at ASD very proud. What I'd like to do is just pass the mic and have Abby introduce himself and then have the mic go to Jen Hammonds, our middle school counselor, who will provide some background about the award. Then we'll come back to Abby to have him describe exactly what he did. Hello everyone, my name is Abhi Sharma. I'm the winner of the Haas Hansen Award and I'd like to thank everyone who helped me throughout this uh, award to to get me here. And um, I'm Jen Hammonds and I'm one of the two middle school counselors and we just play a supportive role trying to help the middle schoolers through the process of applying. And so the Stanley Haas Luke Hansen Award is sponsored by the NISA Conference or the NISA Region. Um, which is our educational support and professional growth um, and development organization. And so this award gives middle schoolers an opportunity to talk about their connection to other cultures and the ways in which they serve and show citizenship. And they talk about their leadership and their responsibility. And they can do this in an essay format or in an artifact format, like a portfolio or a product. And we have many middle schoolers apply each year, but this year was particularly strong. We had 11 middle schoolers apply, so Abhi actually had some stiff competition. And we have a panel of judges that um, read each of the applicants' um, essays or their portfolios and make a decision. And then we selected three students from the middle school to send on to the NISA region. And Abhi's was selected among 14 other um, schools in the region as our first place winner. And so we're just exceedingly excited for him and for his family who will get to participate and travel with him to Istanbul. So Abby, tell us about the award. So the award, what I wrote was a five page essay on uh, global issues and places I've been and things I've seen. And what I, what I my, my message throughout the, the entire essay was that if you show kindness, compassion, respect to others, you receive exactly what you give. And so I think that was my message. So really, it's thinking a lot about the ASD values and that if we extend that as individuals, we get that back. Um, in your essay, did you have an example of that? For example, um, one time I in, in the essay I wrote, one time I had, I'd, I was going to a temple and uh, an old man hobbled over to me asking for some food. I kindly gave away my, my food and as, as I did it, I had an overwhelming feeling of happiness everywhere and I felt blessed mm -hmm. at the time. That these, um, these in, effect, in fact, daily acts that we do can not only help others, but have that sense within ourselves that um, enables us to feel so good about um, ourselves and mankind, in a sense. That's a pretty powerful message, huh? I think it's very admirable, Abby, how you, in your essay, were able to articulate at your age in such an eloquent way um, and inspire others because I know that the teachers that judged it were very moved, as were um, all of us when you did, a, you did your podcast, actually, for the parents. I had parents come and tell me that they were very inspired by your words and the way that you deliver things. So you, even in your sharing, inspire us. So. And really, on a daily basis, we can, we can do something. Um, you know, sometimes I think that when we think about positive, active global citizens, we're thinking about the, the big project that's done outside of Qatar, and we're, we're um, raising funds for that big project to help people that are in need. And while that certainly is an aspect of it, there's an aspect on a daily basis that we can do. So now, that you've been given the award and you get to travel to the Spring Educators Conference in Istanbul with your parents, what will happen there? 
over there, I'll be giving a announcement and a message mm -hmm. to everyone there at the Spring Educators Conference about my essay and uh, me thanking everyone for their help in bringing me to where I am at that point. Okay, it's, um, that's a pretty amazing thing to have an eighth grader speak to. There will be over a thousand teachers, administrators, educators there, and um, um, that um, speaks very well for American School of Doha and of course makes us extremely proud. So thank you, Abby. I think that it would be wonderful uh, with this podcast to also be able to attach your essay um, and um, know that we will follow up after the Spring Educators Conference. Um, but um, hey, congratulations. <laughs>